Hey, it's Brittany and I'm here at Epcot tonight to just give you a nice Epcot update. There's a lot of changes that have happened to Epcot over the past month, to be honest. So we're here to check out all things new and updated and what's happening here at Epcot. So let's go see what they have going on here. Hit the like button and subscribe. So tonight there is a after hours event going on in the evening time. But we are here and we're going to just kind of, like I said, see what is new. I know one thing that has happened since the last time I have come. So we're gonna head over that way to give you an update on Test Track. So let's head that way and I'll show you what's happening with Test Track. And of course we are in between festivals here at Epcot. The next festival does not start until the end of August, which is kind of crazy. So we have a lot of time in between festivals here, but there's still plenty to do at Epcot. But <laughs> Test Track, if you can't see already, is currently closed, like closed, closed. It is getting a complete refresh. Supposed to be, uh, still gonna be Chevy, like uh, sponsored by. Supposed to become more like the first version of it. So this, <laughs> you can definitely see the wait times in the rest of the park have gone up. Simply because Test Track was such a popular attraction and the line could hold, you know, a good amount of people. It was always long. I'd hop in a single rider and sometimes I have to wait. But Test Track, we're not gonna get Test Track until at least middle of summer-ish of, or spring summer of 2025, if not later with the way Disney does uh, some of their updates and um, the time it's taken them to do certain things. So we have quite a while with Test Track being down, which is, <laughs> I don't know, kind of surprising, but I don't know. I think they should make Guardians of the Galaxy no longer a virtual queue um, so that people can, you know, that, that line can eat up a lot of people, um, hopefully making the rest of the lines at the park a little bit shorter. But yeah, so no festival and we have no test track right now. So it's definitely such a weird um, ride time here at, at Epcot, simply because test track is down. It, I mean, like I said, it's, it's a very big attraction for this park. So I am kind of shocked that, um, I don't know, not shocked that, they, that it's down because it does need to be refreshed and all that jazz. I'm excited for that. But it's just, I don't know, it's a, it's a huge attraction and this park already doesn't have that many attractions. So it's kind of just like, that's gonna be down for a long time, like, ah. But, I mean, like I said, it is summertime here. The wait times are going up everywhere on property, but it just seems like an odd time for Test Track to go down. But I am excited to see what it will become in the future. So something I also wanna check on, because I was here opening day of Communicor Hall and Plaza, Communicor Plaza, that whole area. See if they've added anything and just kind of see it. Uh, not on the first day and it was also raining the very first day so I didn't get to spend that much time out in like the courtyard and stuff So let's go check that out and see if anything's changed over there And then we'll come back over here and check in creation so shop and see what there is uh, new merch wise, but Yeah, it's just a, di it's a totally different vibe at Epcot right now because of all the new stuff opening It's not a bad vibe at all. It's, it's actually a really great one uh, to see, you know, all the new stuff like um, world nature and just everything that's now opened up uh, in the past year. So, but a lot of stuff has opened up and or changed this last month, like Test Track going down and uh, Communicore Hall finally being open. So I just wanna check it all out and show you guys what's different, what's new, so you're prepared if you're coming soon. I do love that this area, I can see, I mean, it's being utilized like crazy, people are they still have the booths over here, which I'm sure we'll get for the next festival. But I really like it that people are hanging out over here. And like I said, actually utilizing this space because it's beautiful and it's honestly such a beautiful time of night. So it's really cool. I, I really enjoy this area. But let's go over and check out the Communicore Hall Plaza area. Let's just actually go straight back here and take a right into it. Cause so I did not enter it this way last time. So, but I just, I remember, distinctly remember coming over here when the walls were still up with all this seating area. So this, this is still so weird to walk into such an open space uh, with all this being, you know, newly open just like a week or two ago. So yeah, it's, it's just so, it's so different. So different, I, I really enjoy it. I applaud it, it needs to happen. I think they should put more stuff over here. We got some like lone tables back here. 
but it's a great start. It's a great start. I think it's a very versatile space as well. But yeah, there's a bunch of seating undercover over here. The stage. Their last show is in 20 minutes. It's a good show though, if you have not seen it. Like I said, tons of seating over here if you're looking. A lot of it is under the cover, which is nice. I just like to see what, how this connects to everything else, because I also didn't do that when I was here last, because it was just, it was raining and I was just trying to get everything filmed. But yeah, this connects, look at how beautifully this connects and flows into the Path to the World Showcase. Like look, it's, it's such a big path now. This is beautiful, I love this. This is, I mean, breathing room for these summer crowds. Like, look at this. And straight into the World Showcase. Just, I don't know, it's such a cool feeling, like I said, to get to see all of this now. With the walls down, it's all done, it feels great. It looks great. I'm proud, I'm proud of my Epcot, <laughs> my home park. A lot of seating back here as well. I think they should put more seating back here. But still, this is a beautiful area. Especially at night with all the lights on, it looks. And they, they definitely added some umbrellas out here. So that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Does Communicore Hall look the same on the inside? Let me see. Wow, there's like nobody in here. <laughs> it is empty in here. Like, completely empty. Wow. I still love to see it with all these like lights on and going and making it different, but like there's maybe five people including myself in here which is <laughs> kind of funny i do like all the flags of all the pavilions i love that i think it's so cool also i want to see all of these open because they're these are like booths that you can walk up to like i saw them in the media preview when i saw people's videos and they could open up and be like things so <laughs> open up and be things i want to see what you look like <laughs> open up and be things but yeah it's yeah, still really cool in here. And then, oh my gosh, look at this shot. Like, how beautiful is that? That's pretty cool. Pretty incredible, actually. I like the floor, like the tiling they did with Spaceship Earth in the background. It's just stunning. I, it, it's beautiful, I love it. And then obviously, Communicra Hall and uh, the meet and greet over here, Mickey and Friends meet and greet. It's so cool, I love this area. Again, Epcot just feels so much bigger and more spacious. And the line for the meet and greet is like non-existent, which is also great. It's probably maybe half hour tops. But yeah, there's even some benches built into these planter boxes. So that's, I don't know, they thought of a lot of good things. It's really cool, monorail on either side. Yeah, it's just beautiful, especially this time of night. It is absolutely stunning here at Walt Disney World, especially at Epcot. Again, more beautiful new views of the front of Mickey and Friends. It's beautiful. It says it's a 60 minute wait right now. The wait goes by pretty fast, but I do see some lightning landers that could back that line up a little bit. But it, I don't know, like I said, it backs up very beautifully into the, this new part as well. So into World Celebration and everything. Is it the, still the same menu? Yeah, still the arepas and the tres leches and all the wonderful drinks. So, yeah, I don't know. I love this spot. I'm just gonna walk through <laughs> World Celebration again. Because I just, I love it. I love it. I think the vibe is so good. Can't wait for these trees to uh, grow a little bit to get some more shade over here, but they definitely have a lot of them. So, sometimes I'm like, where are your sunshade or sun sails? Because <laughs> we need some shade here, Disney. But that's all right. We are, we're figuring it out. They're figuring it out. But yeah, definitely I'm enjoying these new areas. I'm excited to see how they're going to use them in the future. And, and honestly, what this park has to offer with, again, all the new additions with the new festival going on. Let's walk down this little path and look at those booths. Because yeah, I know they obviously they have booths over here, but are they going to put booths over there? We shall see. Literally, they can do... <laughs> it's Disney, they can do whatever they want. But yeah, I knew that obviously... These were made for booths, but I hope these become food booths, but they look like they're gonna always be uh, merchandise, but it'd be cool to get like one, at least one of these made into like an actual food booth so we could get food over here. But like I said, you never know, we will see. We will see. But let's head into Creations and see what's new in here. 
they're still doing the AP Magna distribution, which is great. All the Play in the Park stuff definitely is not new. <laughs> Do love these Crocs. They are newer. I like, you know, all the parks represented. $70 for those. Let's see. Do they have any new... I feel like I haven't really seen Zazu as a, what are these called? Shoulder plush. I saw somebody with this the other day and I didn't think I had seen it before, but to me, Zazu's new, or at least. But the little figment's cute too. Um, but so, so Zazu to me is newer. Is he new? I don't know, but I've never seen him. Or if I have, I don't remember. So, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see, oh, they have the figment hats back, like the ones that have figment's head, like specifically. These guys are back in stock for $34. If you love figment. And then all these are new, the different colors, the sequins. Actually really pretty, I like this one. This is totally my vibe, I love orange. Let's see. I still love this guy too, he's newer. This marble one I feel like I haven't seen before, it's cute. And I love this whole new uh, black bag collection of they're all like black, they match like a black spear jersey. It's really pretty in my opinion. I like it. Well, it's just simple and stuff that you could wear with anything. So, <laughs> of course I like it. Let's see what else is here. 2024 merch. That's not new. Is there any new t-shirts? It's like this is a new spear jersey. Is it just like a Walt Disney World one? Yeah, it's like the t-shirts I had when I was a kid. With all the different characters making Walt Disney, that's actually really cute. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, is there anything new in the houseware section? Any new mugs I can see? Let's see. Oh, these are new and these are beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. $20? Like how simple that is. That's really pretty. And this yellow one is really pretty as well. Oh, look at this three caballeros one. My goodness, it's cute. 19 for the three caballeros as well. Let's see. Cute. I like that it looks like it's Mickey's hand. Oh, a Soren mug. Cool. Let's see, anything else I can see that's new? No, I don't think anything else is new. Let's keep going. Let's see, boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah, t-shirts, I'm gonna see if there's any new t-shirts. Mm, I see like an American one. Um, this green one's cool, I like that. That's pretty. Well, this is a cool one. I like how bright the neon is for that guy. It's really cute, oh, this is cute too. I like that, very cute. Let's see, what else? Oh, I love this still, but not for $65. It's like a button down. Also, this is really cute. I like how simple that is. Oh, the rhinestone. Everyone was having a fit over this rhinestone uh, sweatshirt. They have it in, well, only smalls and extra smalls. So you still got to come and <laughs> try to find it first if you want it. Oh, it's like an all over print. Oh, it's PJ set. That's cute. Select ear bins, $30 each when you buy two. You save 10 bucks. Because they're 35 each, technically. Let's right, see. What else is new? All, of course, the Pride stuff is still here because it's still June. Which is nice. Oh, they still have some of the Dreamer statues over here. I thought they were out of these already. Still have them, and they have, of course, Spaceship Earth uh, cookie jars as well. This is where you get your annual pass holder magnet. If you're still looking, they still have them. What else? We've got some generic Mickey Mouse merch over here. A Pixar ball travel mug. Only $20 each with any purchase. So it's 20 bucks if you have a purchase. 34 if you do not. Something uh, for you to think about. Cute. See, a bunch of sunglasses. If you're looking for sunglasses up here at the registers, they have sunglasses, fans, snacks, 
The pins are over here on this wall if you're looking specifically in this store, as well as the Magic Band Pluses will be over here as well. So it's kind of near the exit as you're walking out to uh, the World Celebration and the World Showcase. So that's how you get out. Um, or that's how you would uh, find, wow, I can't talk, <laughs> the Magic Band Pluses and the pins. So if you're looking for them, that's where they be. Let's see, let's go to this middle section and see if there's anything else that I have not seen yet. Oh, this bag I have not seen yet. Oh, this whole collection. It's really cute. I love the bows. They're $40. They even have like a smaller version. I'm guessing like crossbody. Could also be a wristlet, it looks like, for $30, $29.99. Bunch of Minnie Mouse stuff. Let's see what else. They still have these awesome sweaters. I have one in black and I love it. Generic Mickey stuff over here with the Crocs with the Mickey heads in them, which is fantastic. Let's see what else. Anything else? Oh, they're doing Stitch Attack snacks for every month, uh, like the monthly thing. So there'll be a Stitch eating something. This month it is a donut. And then next month it is a snow cone. So if you're here and you love Stitch, they're doing that and it's pretty fantastic. It's actually really cute, so I enjoy it. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me here in Creations. Oh, oh, never mind. There's one more thing. There are these passports. I have seen these online. They have uh, really cute pins, stickers. Uh, a bunch of stuff that you can walk around the world showcase and do with your kiddos. It's kind of like, a, I feel like it's an in-between festival thing in my opinion, but this is actually really cute. It's only $16.99 and it comes with this little pouch and it's really, really cute. These are brand new. So it comes with passport, 77 stickers and a button. So for kiddos, or if you like me, you like doing that kind of thing, this could actually be really fun for you. But yeah, this is brand new. Like literally maybe a week or two ago, they came out with those. So like I said, it seems like it's kind of there to help aid not having a scavenger hunt for a festival. Um, so then you can sell them to do while you're on the World Showcase, which is pretty great and I don't mind it. I really enjoy it. Well, yeah, I think that's it for, uh, well, of course we, well, we walked out. So that's all the new stuff I could see in Connections, but, uh, or is it cre Creations? Yeah, Creations, I, gotta, I always get it wrong. So they're literally next to each other, but shop and they still have the figment popcorn buckets for sale uh, over here the ones that are the uh, uh, imagination pavilion they still have those for sale as well but let's go over here and check out what's new in the Odyssey building so I kind of already hinted to what that was and it actually turned out to be what I thought it was earlier okay before you even get there this is what the Odyssey is right now just pretty crazy uh, it used to be at the top of the Imagination Pavilion, so they had to move it for the time being. So this is kind of what I thought earlier. <laughs> that it, I, th I was hoping it maybe would be an AP lounge, but a DVC lounge is just fine as well. All you DVC heirs pay a lot of money to be in DVC, but look how beautiful this is. It's golden hour, sun setting, it's absolutely stunning. This is probably my favorite time of night to be at a Disney park because you still get the daylight, but you get like the pretty colors in the sky because there's always pretty colors in the sky here. Birds. Um, and it's not too hot usually this time of night and the moon's out. You guys can see the moon with the birds are flying. <laughs> but yeah, also this bridge is usually pretty quiet, which is really nice. So if you ever want to come get good pictures of the, of the monorail coming by, it's a really great, and it's quiet now <laughs> that test track is down. You won't get the whooshing of the cars or anything. So this might actually be a really good spot for you to hang out, uh, sit down for a bit. There's also some umbrellas. So if it's raining or hot, you can get some shade. Yeah, but the Odyssey, let's see. Can you even walk inside of it at all? If you're not DVC, we're gonna test that out and see. Is this open? I think it's closed for the evening. I don't see anybody inside. What is this? Okay, we're figuring it out. It closed at 6 p.m. So it's been closed for a little bit. Yeah, it looks like you can just get like regular beverages in here still. 
and the lounge is open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. So yeah, just a little lounge. But yeah, you can still, oh. Can you just sit in here even if you're not? Oh, um, now you can? <laughs> so I guess half of it is uh, exclusive and half of it is not? Again, maybe it'd be different if it was like open, but it's half open for regular guests as well. I don't know, it's very strange. <laughs> You know, didn't didn't go and do what didn't go and do. Let's be honest. Yeah, it's definitely beautiful. Beautiful here at night, uh, especially this time of night. It is absolutely stunning. All right, we are on the world showcase. I'm gonna go over to uh, uh, Norway. That's where I'm going uh, to get Blaine's school bread to take home to him. It's like his favorite snack here. But like, look at these views. Look at these views. Not really any updates. Besides Luminous is gonna start in like a half hour, so. Hopefully the line for the bread is not long. Right on. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that, and then I think I'm going to head out. But like I said earlier, the summer crowds are upon us. It is not that hot out tonight, actually. I'm actually wearing pants right now, which is pretty crazy. But definitely busy, and it's gonna get busier as the season goes on, so just be prepared. Okay, I got our treats, uh, school bread for Blaine, and I don't even know what this cake is called, but Kirsten said it was great, but also the pride wall is, the love wall is up again here at Epcot, which is fabulous. So yeah, we are headed out, but that's everything new here at Epcot. And with that being said, that's it for me tonight, but hit the like button and subscribe, and I'm very excited for new test track and just everything that's already open. It looks beautiful and it's so nice to have extra room here at Epcot, especially for the busy summer crowds. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you guys real soon. Bye!